What's up everyone, Aaron here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the last of these Dr. Wu secret sets that I picked up. This is Dr. Wu's DWE15 Dark Sky and DWE16 Sound Master. Obviously Sky Warp and Blaster. So, let's not waste any time, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the box and these guys in their alt mode. And here's the nice little box again. Same style as the others, obviously. More nice as far as the no original art of Blaster and Sky Warp. More art. Product shot. More art. Pretty cool. As with the others, you will also get instructions and bio cards. So, always cool to have. And again, no accessories other than Sky Warps, Null Rays, Blasters, whatever you would like to call them. And we'll take a look at Sky Warp here, and he is done up as Sky Warp in his traditional black and purple colors. And looking good. But once again, nothing really new here. We've already looked at this twice now. Once again, the only real paint is this a little bit on the canopy right here the rest of this is just applied with stickers but once again well done and once again there's really not a lot else to say uh, that i haven't already said love this little teeny seeker definitely the coolest little teeny pocket bot seeker i have these three so we'll take a look at blaster and he's pretty cool uh he looks pretty good in this mode from the front but everywhere else is pretty much where it's going to fall apart. As you can see, exactly what's going on there. Transformation-wise already. So, not bad though. I like it a lot. Uh, very cool little blaster. There is some paint applied here. Yellow and this metallic on the cassette bay door. Unfortunately, it's pretty, uh, I'd say it's a pretty impossible ask for some transforming... Uh, bots for this scale to as far as cassettes go but we can dream right so let's do some size comparisons and get them transferred here are some car comparisons if you need them real quick but here's sky warp with core class sky warp and the old combined rewards legends class sky warp and for blaster here he is with dr Wu sound blaster and the Mech Fans Toys Upscale KO of Magic Squares Blaster. And as you can see, a lot of these guys do kind of transform the same. So I guess there's only so much you can really do with these transforming cassette players, right? And here are our next two pocket bots in their robot modes. And man, I was doing so good at not knocking the null rays off during transformation until I realized this arm was still tabbed in. Almost did it, but it's doable. Had a little practice now with these guys. So, But uh, here's Sky Warp. And once again, looking pretty good. A little bit of paint on his face here. Uh, same articulation you were going to get with others, swivel at the head, ball joints at the elbows and the shoulders. You can move the wings how you like, ball joints at the hips as well, knees to 90 degrees, toes up and down due to transformation. So pretty decent articulation for these guys. And if you want to take the null rays off, you can, but there's nowhere for him to hold them. So there you go. But looks good as Sky Warp. Definitely good in these colors as it was the previous two times in the other character colors. 
Blaster, though, is new, so we'll take a closer look at him. And this is a pretty cool little blaster, in my opinion. I like him a lot, honestly. Um, he does have a pretty good amount of paint on him, as you can see what we pointed out in his tape player mode with the white and the yellow and the metallic blue here, but he also has some paint on his face, some white, some blue, and some gray. He has some paint on some other bits that I didn't point out either. Uh, this little bit is actually red paint as well. So, decent amount of paint on this guy, and his fists are painted as well. So, there you go. But, uh, it's a nice little blaster. I like him. He's pretty cool. Uh, now, articulation-wise, he's pretty good because, as you saw, his head's on a ball joint from where it just folds down. So, you get all kinds of back and a little bit of weeble wobble, and there you go. He's got arms on a hinge joint. They go out to there. Elbows are just a ball, so what you would expect as far as that goes. Uh, he does have a waist swivel. 360. So there you go. Pretty cool. Hips are on ball joints as well. So he can only do the splits so far, though. But he can kick all the way forward and back. These are going to go to 90 degrees, and you get some toe up and down, but that's it as far as his feet go. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I like him a lot. He looks pretty good. So, pretty happy to have this little guy in my collection as well. So, let's do some size comparisons and finish things up. So, just for some general size comparisons, our boy Iron Factory runabout. A standard three and three quarter inch action figure and an old Combiner Wars Legends class figure. For Blaster, here he is with his alt mode comparisons in robot form, obviously. <laughs> For Sky Warp, here he is with Core Class Sky Warping in and Iron Factory Sky Warp. And using some teleportation trickery with Siege Sky Warp. Final thoughts on Dr. Wu's. DWE15 Dark Sky and DWE16 Soundmaster. As with the previous two sets, love these guys. They're a lot of fun. Really great pocket bots. Again, I'm basically just repeating myself now, so uh, if you're interested enough to have watched all three of these, then you know my thoughts on these at this point. Great compliments for Titan class figures. Just fun pocket bots on their own. If you like the characters, go pick them up. I think they're really cool. So that's going to do a further review. Hope you all enjoyed it. And have a good one.